In this video, we have a block of mass 5 kilos rests on a rough plane inclined at 27 degrees to the horizontal. A force of 35 newtons acting parallel to the plane is pulling the block up the plane at a constant velocity. What is the coefficient of friction between the block and the plane? OK, we'll draw a diagram. So here is my slope. My angle is 27 degrees. Here is the block. It has a mass of 5 kilos, so a weight of 5g. So we'll complete the triangle here. This angle is 27 degrees. So this is 5g sine of 27 degrees. And this is 5g cosine of 27 degrees. We have a normal reaction force because, because it's in contact with the surface. And we have a 35 newton force acting parallel to the plane, pulling it up the plane. So 35 newtons. And we'll have friction going against the direction of motion. OK, so we need to find the coefficient of friction between the block and the plane, which means I need the friction and I need the normal reaction force. So uh, because it's moving, um, we know that F is equal to mu times R. If I resolve perpendicular to the plane first, so in that direction, we'll have R take away 5G cosine 27 degrees is equal to zero because the acceleration perpendicular to the plane is zero. So R must be 5G cosine 27 degrees. Now if I resolve parallel to the plane, taking up the plane as positive, we have 35 newtons. Take away the friction. Take away the 5g sine of 27. And because it's uh, going up the slope at a constant velocity, the acceleration is zero. So mass times acceleration will be zero. So this gives me enough information to find FR, our friction. So the friction is going to be 35 take away 5g sine of 27 degrees. I've got the R, I've got the F, R, and I can plug that into my formula. So 35 take away 5g sine 27 degrees is equal to mu times 5g cosine of 27 degrees. So mu is 35 take away 5g sine of 27 divided by 5g cosine of 27. Let's plug that in the calculator using g is 9.8. And we get 0 0.292 to three significant figures.